GIS or geographic information systems can be used in a wide variety of sectors and industries. Let's just take a look at five of these, shall we? Let's start with public health. Well, GIS or geographic information systems offers many applications and functionality that are tremendously beneficial to the public health industry. GIS is a natural choice for solving many public health issues, including analyzing locations of diseases, the spread of contagious diseases, the cause and effect of environmental factors, as well as the availability of health facilities. Where should I put my new doctor's office, my new chiropractic center, my new hospital, my new clinic, etc. So those are a few applications in public health. What about number two, business? Businesses continue to embrace GIS as an effective alternative to traditional manual mapping analysis methods. GIS has emerged as an affordable solution for performing essential revenue producing and expense reducing functions. Companies of all sizes are unleashing the business potential of GIS on the marketplace. Now they don't always call it GIS, they call it location analytics most commonly. Learn how GIS can be integrated into various disciplines in business, including, hey, marketing, real estate, transportation, and oil and gas. Now, how can I do that? Well, you can look at the ESRI industry pages, and also I highly recommend getting an account in Business Analyst Web and start exploring business locations, consumer preferences, and lifestyles, and demographics. Number three, environmental management. There are numerous practical applications of computerized GIS to be used in environmental assessment and natural resource management. GIS can be used to support facility site selection, environmental impact analyses, resource management, and characterization of environmental hazards. Whether working as a GIS professional in public agencies or in the private sector, you can look at environmental management fields to see how GIS and the environment come together. What I often tell students is, hey, it's great that you care about the environment. I care about the environment too. Many people do, and that's a good thing. But guess what? The EPA or the Nature Conservancy or the Trust for Public Land or your state DNR, Department of Natural Resources, isn't going to pay you to be interested in the environment or to care about the environment, really. But if you've got some skills like geographic information systems on your tool belt, you're going to be more valuable to that organization. You're going to be able to contribute to the organization's mission and thereby fulfill your environmental heart and your environmental passions and doing what you love to make the planet a better place. Number four, policy and law. The evolution of GIS and the mobile device directly impacts governments, companies, and individuals on a daily basis. Now, in today's world, more than three billion people have smartphones in their hands constantly. This was in 2019. This creates issues about how to handle data, security and privacy, civil and criminal laws, rules and regulations, contractual agreements, and service level agreements between parties on many levels, from service providers in different states, countries, and parties of the world. So also, GIS has always been used in law and policy because things happen in certain places, and so they're affected by people and boundaries and, and, and places, and all of those can be mapped and analyzed and used effectively in policy and law. And fifth and finally, urban planning. GIS is used across both public and private sector departments to aid in urban planning projects. There is a strong demand for effective urban planning, and GIS can be leveraged as an analytical and modeling tool. Whether constructing a bridge or building a city, GIS is a crucial tool to monitor areas, conduct feasibility studies, learn about location sustainability, and plan and manage urban planning projects. Oftentimes we hear the phrase smart cities and GIS is right there. GIS is an integral part of building sustainable, resilient cities, towns, urban areas. So those are five ways, five areas that GIS is being applied. Public health, business, environmental management, policy and law, and urban planning. Thanks, and go out there and make a difference in your world.